Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at the gaming industry and one of the biggest flaws that I have seen in recent years. And my main reason to never buy a game when it's first release is that they are seldom finished and still need patches in order to be close to what the developers intended for. Before we start, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel and hope you enjoy my content I provide. I'm trying to hit that plateau of 1,000 subs, so please like and subscribe if you like what I do. I'm not talking about upgrades here, like The Witcher 3 upgrade to new technology. I'm talking about pretty much unfinished games that need intensive work after their release that the publisher knew was in bad shape. This bad faith from publishers in order to meet their deadline is so atrocious, I can't find the time to even bother buying games on release. The last game I played with few to no bugs at all on release was God of War Ragnarok. And those games are too few in between. This of course does save me a lot of money in the long run as I buy the game on sale and never at full price and only buy when I know patches for improvements were justified. We will take a look at some of the biggest offenders that I own that I wish I waited for or very much happy that I did wait. The biggest issue is overall performance and optimization of the hardware. This sucks the life out of games we are excited for and tend to wait months to years before they even run properly. I know that everyone talked at length about Cyberpunk 2077, but I had to bring this up once again as I bought it on the Xbox on day one. I later bought it for the PC as I wanted to play it so I could experience its high fidelity visuals while waiting for the Xbox Series X upgrade patch. I was horrified to see that my mid-range PC couldn't even muster the same visuals as the Xbox One X. I gave it up to my weak PC and it's just accepted it. Recently I booted up the game once again just out of pure curiosity as I never played it again after the Series X patch as I was very surprised to see its performance boosted up tremendously. Keep in mind that I never changed the settings as it ran at 1080p on Ultra but the difference is absolutely apparent. You want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Stimulants being administered, 70 milligrams dopamine, 110 norepinephrine, 800 fibrinogen. Let's get Second to rendezvous, simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Down! Everybody! On the ground! I wanna see you kissing the flooring! Money! Now! Or I will fucking drop- This of course got me thinking that 1080p games on the highest setting could look incredible still versus even the newest console with the PS5 and Series X. Sword and Fairy was another game I waited for on current consoles as my PC could only muster 1080p at the highest settings. The game ran and looked fantastic but I wanted that higher resolution with ray tracing. With the game on the Series X I was disappointed again with its optimized performance. It does look crisper but everything else looks worse in its overall presentation. Hui Yo. 
妖怪侵入村子。等一下，那条凶手很危险，别过去。Being disappointed left me to wait for Gotham Knights as the game was ridiculed for its performance on all consoles and PC. With its update, the game finally has the stability so that you are not distracted by its hiccups. Although the patch was released months later, the bad reception got the game for me to buy at a very low $20. I saved so much and now learned my lesson to just wait it out. With so many games I want to try, like Star Wars Jedi Survivor, I find myself waiting for updates as the games are released with issues no matter how you look at it. This does save me money in the long run, but I do hate waiting. Hopefully publishers release games when they are actually ready so that we can avoid this trend of just wait for the fix it all patch. That's it for this look and to why I just wait for games instead of buying them day one. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. Your disappointment, Ephania! Damn. Uh.